Hey guys, we are motherfucking back in the boots and, and guess what? Not only is it K-Flock's birthday, free K-Flock, happy birthday K-Flock. I also made 1K in subscribers today. I'm so excited and I'm so happy. <laughs> Organically, I did this shit by myself with the help of others, but mainly, you know, I ain't by subscribers. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. proud of myself. You didn't fake it. And last but not least, um, I have some legends in the building. Shoot, he young, but he's a legend <laughs> too. Um, Lenny Cook is your dad. Yeah. Shout out to Lenny Cook. And yeah. you are? Anajay Cook. Anajay. Yeah. You are, you look just like your father. <laughs> you look, he look like his father. Nah, you look like your dad. Yeah, I get that every but day. I see a lot of your videos because yeah. you play ball. Yeah. So, technically, you've been lit. You've been yeah. lit. Technically, you've been lit. Okay. Um, from a baby in diapers. <laughs> look, I got to get specific because your dad, someone made a dope documentary about him and yeah. you were in it yeah. a couple of times i said oh look at this little bald-headed <laughs> baby so it's cute self you were so adorable growing up in your dad's like eye like his mm. shadow how has that been the rise and the fall mm. and the get back it's like i see it as like just I wouldn't see it as like a really a get back. I just see it as motivation for me and what to do and what not to do. Like seeing what he went through, the people he had around. Like I was telling you earlier, I only keep three, four people with me. So yeah. like those people, they keep me on the right track. So I know, yo, what I'm supposed to be doing, where I'm supposed to be at at a certain time. And so they just keep me on pace and doing everything. So I ain't really trying to make it seem like I'm following him. Do you get, do you feel like, um, cause I'm going to go back a little bit. Basketball, mm -hmm. you were playing, you weren't forced. It was just something <laughs> was that just, you just picked up because yeah. your dad was so into, into it. it. Yeah. It was just like something I always wanted to do. Like I got, besides just him, like my godfather and then I got cousins and uncles that played overseas. So like, that's just something I grew up around. That's, so, that's just what I wanted to do. So fast forward a little bit now. Um, I'm ratchet, y'all. That's my. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Somebody has to get that. I'm sorry, gang. You know I'm a little famous. I'm a little famous now. <laughs> uh, where's my assistant? Is my assistant around? Obviously, you've been playing since you were small. Mm -hmm. What age? What grade? I was playing like organized. I'd probably say like fourth grade, mm -hmm. but like. Since I know, like, I got pictures and videos when, when I was a baby, like, shooting on, like, little tights hoop, and so I pretty much, like, my whole life. So, coach, your dad, or yeah. did he allow you to, like, be around other people? How did that work? Because you, you saying you wasn't living in his shadow. You found your own. Mm -hmm. You had your own people, like you own, know. Yeah. But as far as, like, coaching and the style of basketball, mm -hmm. um, What's your position? Because I'm just now, I'm learning. I, I used to like ball for the guys. Mm -hmm. But now I'm really learning the game. So I played point guard, shooting guard. So it was like me. I'm not as, as you see, I'm not that. As, I'm tall, no. but I'm not as tall as him. So it was like. Was but, you mad? <laughs> no, nah, not, not really. Because people I used to play, like I was always tall for my age though. Right. So I was tall for my age. But like people I play against was always shorter than me. So it wasn't like, I wasn't really mad because I felt like it was an advantage for me, but right. it was a disadvantage as I got older because now seeing in college and it's people 6'10", 6'11", and I'm only 6'3", 6'4". So. How, how is life like now? Um, you finished school? Mm, no, yeah, I'm almost. Almost. Oh, yeah. So you did a four-year? I was in um college in California. I was sent to California, then I left, and now I go to school in Pennsylvania. Wow, because I've seen videos on your dad's page, and you nice. <laughs> you are. Right, you got a little. I don't know who you think is better, you or daddy. I don't know you. Yeah. Um, as far as like the style of basketball, do you watch like the old games and stuff? Just in general, like with other teams. 
I watched old and new, like now and before. So is it like, a big shift? Like, yeah, is it a big difference? Yeah, like you could, like me watching it, I could really tell a difference. So like back then, it was just real. Like it wasn't as fast as today's game. Right. That's how I see it. So like just like the up tempo and up tempo ness in the game. Right. That's what's really like the difference. Would you change it? Would you want to go back to that time, nah. or you enjoy playing ball yeah, now? Now, yeah. yeah. Um, the money, the funds. The funds, you think like the endorsements and stuff is big. Are you getting a little endorsements? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm not right now, not right now, but I'm trying to. Do they still have like scouts that go out to the games and see mm-hmm. the kids? I know yeah. that was like big. Yeah, even in like street ball tournaments, a lot of people that I know personally like been able to go to school from playing outside, overseas. That's fine. People that I know that's from this area as well. Like, um, shout out to my boy Leaky. He um Leaky. He from over here. He about to go overseas. He's like a big content creator on YouTube and Instagram as wow. well. He about to go overseas. So a lot of people that I know from outside is getting that opportunity. You you ever play that gauchos? Nah. No, the nah. Dykeman. Did you do I all of that? Dykeman and, really? yeah. So that's like AAU. Nah, Dykeman is just like street ball. So I played in Dykeman, Rucker, Gersh, like all these big tournaments in New York. So where was the baddest baddies at? <laughs> Cause you twenty three, right? You twenty three, yeah. so it's like mm, where what areas? For me, I'm Gersh, Brooklyn, easily. Gersh, Gersh Park. Yeah. Shout out to East New York. Yeah. Like I feel it's so many dope people that play ball. Like, I was, I had the honor to go last. year. That was my first time going last mm-hmm. year, and it was dope. Nah, yeah, that is a different type of vibe. Like all the little, different. all the girls there with their little lollipops, <laughs> waiting for y'all to come off the um. Nah, it's, it's, it's court. a different vibe. Like that's just. It's like a party and a basketball game at the same time. Right. Know? Like, you got people outside doing hookah and it's loud music going on. A lot of people chattering. So, that's just like, it's a vibe that I like. Have you partied with your dad yet? Because I want to get a little <laughs> bit of his business, too. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. I came outside with him before, but it's like, it's not like a crazy ongoing Is thing. it like I'm, a- not, I'm not like really an outside person. Like, no? I like, I like to stay to myself. Just do what I gotta do. What's your hobbies? It's like basketball. It's like I see the young generation. Well, even growing up back in the days, that's all y'all think about. Yeah, but I do. I oh basketball. my god! I play basketball and I DJ, so it's like Ooh. it's hand in hand with me. Yeah. So, so you he like music, gang. Yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Who you listening to now? Um, what you feeling? Wow. You like drill music? Drill? Drill? Nah, I ain't really into that. Nah. Okay, you don't nah, like drill. Nah. Okay, you don't like. I know. I I got like I got family members that's like listen to a lot, and I still won't get into it. I I just don't. So like, what type of what type of music you like? Cause like I can't baby. assume hip hop. Huh? Hip hop? Yeah, little okay. baby, dirt, you know, those type of people. That 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 Great. trench yeah. talk like well, you know. Yeah. What are they labeled as? Because they got drill music, then they got the Philly, the Philly style is like the I trench just, talk, pain, just overall yeah. artists. Mm. They just major artists. Um, who you bumping right now? A lot, of little baby, mm. little baby, a lot, a lot. You been to Atlanta? Nah, I want to. I want to go though, but I ain't never been. I've been. A, I actually been there one time, but it was just for basketball. Like hip hop and basketball is like really big and it, it goes well mm-hmm. together you ever played any celebrities like tournaments and because I, I i'm gonna need you to get to chris brown for me he loves basketball and mm-hmm. i love him nah, he, he, he's nice he's nice as a artist he, he's nice what artists have you seen play play that you think is dope i don't think i've never really seen an artist play chris brown you see, like, like in, the, person, in person, no, in person, no, just in general, like, yeah, um, like Chris Brown, Quavo. What do they play for during the, the, the sprite? They just be doing like dunk. like charity events and everything. Yeah. So like yeah, Chris, a lot of I seen Chris Brown, Quavo, NLE Chopper. So like, a who you who you think you you think you think they they'll beat you? Nah, you would you play? Oh, I'll play them, but nah, they nah, they can't. Nah. You is your dad hard on you like with basketball or? Nah, not really. It's like he tells me like. If it's something that I want to do, he uh, push me and tell me to do it. But like, if it's not what I wanted to do, like I could have just been a doctor or anything, he would still push me. So if I ain't want to play basketball, he'd still be supportive with, with it. So at any given time, if you ever feel, because a lot of young kids, um, peer pressure, not only amongst 
it, it's just in general, peer pressure is still big. Like too many expectations these young kids have to live up to. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm seeing that a lot. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I be fighting with my kids because I want them to excel more. Yeah. How do you deal with like pressure? For me, it's not. I don't really got like a lot of pressure on me. I feel like, like I was saying like it's what I want to do. So they'll just push like my mom, my dad. They'll push me and. So if you ever say I don't like, I don't want to do this no more, what would you what would you do? What's like they, other? They're gonna ask me like, yo, what's my plan B for sure? Like, what I is have it? A plan B. I go to school for sure. I just I go to school, figure out something I want to do. Like right now, my major is kinesiology. So that's who who who? It's like, yeah, it's kin, it's called kinesiology. What is that? It's like anatomy. So it's based like with your body and yeah. So you'll be studying just the body. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. So that's what I study. So p- people make that their careers, and mm-hmm. cause it, you could um go to, into like physical therapy and training that's and stuff like that. Still with sports, yeah. So you do want to stick in sports overall? Do mm-hmm. you know how to play other sports? I played football, and I ran mm-hmm. track. That was it. So what about video games? Are you oh, big on that? Heavy. You yeah. like you talk to your friends and stuff. They know who you yeah. are and. Oh my God! You good in and who two um two K? That's all I play. Two K and Call of Duty. That's it. Your dad play that? Nah. So he not into that. Uh-uh. <laughs> so you just like I could do this. I could do that. Who's your favorite basketball player? Paul George, without a doubt. Paul George, without a doubt. <laughs> Nobody else but Paul George. How, how your dad feel about that? He don't care. I feel like as long as it's not LeBron, he be alright with it. He good oh, with it. Oh so shoot! As long as it's not LeBron. And your favorite team? I don't got a favorite team. It's you whatever team like, Paul George go to. That's my team. He's he's playing. He on the Clippers. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Oh, so I'm, I'm I'm surprised you ain't say like Michael Jordan or oh. like <laughs> I, I like Dennis Rodman. Uh, see you. He's a I'm old. Not old. No. Gosh, not he old. did the. Not lady, old. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I think that he brought a lot to the NBA. Even mm. even with the whole culture um, change because. Mm. There's a lot of NBA players right now that's like, they dress. Crazy. Come on, like, yeah. stop it. Soon they're going to be wearing poom poom shorts. Like <laughs> I'm telling you, because it's like, they got, first they started with like culottes. Cool it goes up every year. Every every time something changes in the NBA, they shorts get higher. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll be seeing that shit. I'm, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. I don't know. But he brought a lot of fashion, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was a good rebounder. Yeah. I read, I, I practiced that line. Mm-hmm. Yo, I don't know shit about. I just know who cute. Like he look good. He look good. Yeah, he look good. Um, any players that you would love to meet in the future? Mm, Paul George for sure. Paul George. Um, Devin Booker. Uh, and like mainly like the people that's like around my age. Most of them, cause I knew I played against some of them like in high school. While I was in high school playing on AAU. I played against some of them. So. That's fine. You went to high school, and I went to high school in Pennsylvania, North that's Carolina. Dope. So yeah, like a lot of them I played against because I was a, I was class of 2019. So most players that was between 2018 and 2019, I played against. Um, I got some team. One of my teammates, Tyrese, he played on the Atlanta Hawks. So so you got a couple of little. Yeah. You got a, you got a couple of little vibe. You got a girlfriend. Yeah. 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 How she feels? Is she like what? My boo play. <laughs> my boo is a ball player. Don't even play yourself. Nah, she just. She gonna be a um. You would get on um. What is it? Basketball vibes. Nah. No. Nah. <laughs> I'm not that like public. I don't. I don't like being that public. How she feels about it? She supports you. Yeah, like with everything I do, like 110. percent Yeah, I feel as like young couples right now. Y'all are winning. Mm-hmm. Y'all are like. Not saying y'all don't love each other, but it's mm. it's kind of like a business too. It's yeah. like you know you, I like that. I think the young generation is, but on the flip side, it's a lot of killings going, on. going on. It's yeah. a lot of the 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 gang, the gangs and stuff. You know, it's it's hard. A lot of and these kids are talented. Yeah. They know how to play ball. What what would you tell them? Because you're still in that age mm-hmm. that y'all could grow together. So if you ever meet like a troubled friend, but you know he nice and bold, but he can't leave the streets alone, mm-hmm. how would you try to shift his mind? Or like, that shit is hard. Yeah, yeah. When especially, you see people. Especially like being around my age, you know, people don't really like around the same age. They don't really listen to yeah. other people around your age. So it got to be like 
somebody like my dad to talk to them or somebody older to speak to them that like actually help them get that through their head. Like, yo, you don't need this. You feel me? Like, right. you don't need to be in the street. Like, you're talented. Bro, just figure out, try to go to a school, or go to a community college, something just to get away and just right. try to help yourself and better yourself. Damn. He's fashionable too. You know, look at the fashion. I know you're not going to dress like that when I see you coming in in the courts and stuff <laughs> on the NBA. How you, you? What about China? You will go overseas and play? Nah, yeah. If whatever they I could. They're going to be like, Ching on China. You're going to be like, I, I, you ain't going to. I just, like, one, like, I see him as an older brother, like Chris McCullough. He in Taiwan right now. Like, I speak to him all the time. So, like, I'll be asking him, like, the culture difference mm-hmm. and everything he's just like yo it's way different it's like him when Lance Stevenson went overseas I was talking to Lance a lot so like they I was just always asking them questions like yo how is it what is it like the difference between everything between here and there no they just love you long time now nah, yeah. let me stop <laughs> yeah. it's like he's the king that's that that's what we see mm-hmm. that's what the outside see it's like whatever you say it is yeah. pass the ball to him everything <laughs> is him he get all the girls he gets the good food him 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 yeah, sure. they have statues of you guys like you know for sure are you big on social media are you like a do you be home going ta, ta, nah ta. I don't do none of that you nah, don't do nah, that TikTok that's the jersey stuff right yeah I don't, I don't do none of that TikTok dance, none of that. None social that. media, how nah, can social people? media yeah. on social media you can follow me at I am Cook on Instagram. My YouTube is J Kicks as well. So subscribe and that's pretty you much are, it. Y'all got similar names on Instagram. I had the name first. Oh. He stole it. Yeah, I had the name first. I had I am Cook first. Mm, that's not I'm gonna I'm get on him about that. <laughs> he gonna be stealing from you. Thank you so so much. You're and welcome. you know what this is. It's a drill fairy. Peace.